So today we're going to see how we can share part of the information of a spreadsheet uh, with other people using Google Sheets. So one problem we have is that we cannot easily do, in, do this in Excel. I mean, if you, if you Google, you would see there are some pages that say you can share partially a spreadsheet using uh, Visual Basic, but I personally haven't managed to do this. So today we will consider uh, the situation where we use uh, Google Sheets. So for this, we're gonna need two things. We're gonna need a master sheet, which, ha which has most of the information we want to, to share with third parties. Uh, that's our assumption. And then we're gonna have other sheets, which we will make for those third parties where they will see only part of our spreadsheet and they'll be able to edit uh, some columns in their spreadsheet that will appear uh, back in our master sheet. But we are assuming that um, both uses, uh, users, the one with the master sheet and the one with uh, only partial access can only edit uh, certain columns. So a canonical example of where you may find this situation is if, for instance, you are running a campaign and you have a list of people that uh, you want to be contacting, say for a get out the vote campaign, and you want to share certain information with them, uh, for instance, only certain members, if you have the spreadsheet broken by, by departments, but you don't want to share necessarily every single entry with every single participant of the campaign. So this is my master sheet. I have a lot of people here in department number one, and I have a department number two, and so on. So I want to share all this information from department number one with the representative of department number one, but I don't necessarily want to do this with members of other departments, with representatives of other departments. So I have a second sheet that's currently empty called department number one, and this is where I'm going to give access for a certain columns in this sheet to this person, to the person who has access to the second sheet. And then I will uh, not give access to the second sheet. Okay, so how do we do this? So we're gonna use a function called import range. So I'm gonna copy it. As you can see, it has two entries that have to come, two attributes that have to come, each of them between um, quotes. This is the first one, and this is the second one. The first argument is, uh, or the first attribute is where you, which address you import from. And the second attribute is which sheet and which range of cells you import from. And it's very important that before calling for import range, you put an equal sign in front, which is how you call for function. So I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna send it to department one. I'm gonna paste this uh, by clicking on it so they can still edit it. Okay, so address, I'm gonna modify. So I'm gonna come here to my master sheet and I'm gonna copy this address. I'm gonna paste it here. Uh, and then I'm gonna ch choose which sheet this is. So I need to copy exactly the name that appears here at the bottom. So I'm gonna paste that. Uh, okay, maybe I select individually and I paste here as plain test. And you see it has a space because my original name has a space, that doesn't matter. The important thing is you keep the exclamation mark, exclamation sign here, and I'm gonna choose a range. So for range, I'm gonna touch from A1 to K5, because I want to share all this information. Okay, if I want to share less, I will just select less. So I'm gonna write A1 here, I'm gonna write K5. I'm gonna press enter. Now nothing happens. It tells me there's an error. Um, so let's see what happens. So what happened is I forgot the quotation marks for the first attribute. I told you this was important. Uh, I didn't do this on purpose. I, I just made a mistake, but you can see what's happening. Now I press enter and it says loading and it displays it here. 
Now, it can display it there because for the purposes of this um, example, I've let anyone with the link to be able to access as viewer. Now, I'm going to disable this. I'm going to make it restrictive so that you see what happens. I come back here, uh, maybe I reload. Hmm, we can still see it. Okay, let's see what happens now. So I'm going to share this with a second account. As a, a second account, and now I'm gonna open it. Um, I'm gonna open it uh, separately with a different user. Okay, so what happens because before I had shared this as unrestricted, yeah, it was allowing me to share everything. So now I've changed that, I deleted it, and I'm gonna paste it again. So I I'm gonna do this again. I come here. I copy this. I make sure I pick the address I want to share in there. I call the sheet that I'm using, which is department one. Then I say share from me one to A5. Okay. These are A1 here to K5 and there. I press enter. And now because it's restricted, it tells me I need to connect these sheets. So I have to click on allow access. And voila, here it appears. Now if I go and try to edit this, it's gonna give me an error because by editing this cell, I'm not allowing this cell to span with the content of this uh, other sheet. So I undo that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna protect these cells I'm gonna protect these cells. So clicking here, view more cell actions, protect range. And I just say, okay, so this range is protected. And I say, show a warning when editing this range or restrict who can edit this range. So I can just say that I, the master person, I'm the only one who can edit those, those ranges. Okay. So if I now say go to a different user, so note this is in pink because I'm with my first user and this window is for a different user, which is why it's green and shows that the pink one is connected as well. So if I now try to edit this, it'll tell me, ah, I press a key there and it says, there was a problem. You're trying to edit a protected cell or object. Please contact the spreadsheet owner, which is second me, to remove protection if you need to edit. Okay, so that protects it a bit and saves that anyone messes up that uh, cell. So I go back to my master uh, edition. So now that means that the representative from department one can access all the private information of department one members, but does not have access to the master sheet. Like just by means of example, if I copy this address and I try to open it in the green me, it's gonna tell me, sorry, you need access requested. So that won't be possible. Good. So now uh, this person may want to add their own comments, say comments from the department rep and say, call him, couldn't get through, has to call again, has to call later, yeah? Now the problem is, uh, if I do that, they don't appear here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna remove them. And this is for the department member will be writing, right? So comments from the department rep. Call her, yes. Uh, then get through to call back, say. Now if I go back to the master sheet, of course they don't appear here. 
So what I have to do is I have to go the other way back. So I'm gonna pick up all these cells, yeah? And I'm gonna share them into the master sheet. So how do I do that? By doing another import range. So I have to modify this address and I put the address from department one. Okay, don't forget the um, quotation signs. Then for sheet, I put the name of the sheet. So I haven't bothered changing it. So for me now it's sheet one. If you change that in one side, it would mess up everything. So maybe it's worth to write here department one and that way we don't make mistakes. I'm gonna paste, paste it here, this is sheet, department one, and then I'm gonna choose the range. Now I'm not gonna choose A1 to K5 anymore. I'm gonna choose L1. To L5. And again, it gives me an error. You need to connect these sheets. So you allow access. And now we can see what this person has written. Now again, if I try to edit this, it's gonna allow me to do it, and it's just gonna mess up the whole column. So I undo that, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna protect this to save myself messing it up later. So I'm gonna go and say, okay, so who can protect this? I'm gonna set the permissions. Now I could say only I can edit this range, but to be honest, I'm the only one with access to the sheet, so that wouldn't change anything. So what I'm gonna do is instead, I'm gonna show a warning when editing that range, which is as far as my protection, well, someone has to be able to edit it. So the owner has to be able to edit it. Okay, so I said the changes. So what happens now? If I tell you the truth, I don't really know. I press a key, I present and say, hey, heads up, you're trying to edit part of the sheet. That shouldn't be changed accidentally. Edit anyway, I can say, okay, and then I will mess it up, or I can say cancel, and then I don't touch anything. The point now is that when this person goes and adds new comment, like Adam about it, I go back to master sheet and wow, voila, magically Adam about it appears. Right, so the last bit of uh, this long process is to make sure that you only share the department one sheet with the right person. This is the people who should have access to it. So here I register myself as my second self, my green self, as editor, right? So that, you know, as, as department right, I can make these changes. But uh, in this one, I am the only person, you know, pink me. Uh, master me, the only person with access to the mastership. And this is pretty much it. It's a bit confusing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share both of them for anyone who wants to have a look as viewers, uh, but I'm not gonna allow other things so that you don't mess it if uh, a third person is trying to see. So if you want to, um, you want to use this, uh, you will have to make a copy by clicking file, say fast or something like that. If you if you access as a, um, as a using your own Gmail account. And for this, you do need a Google account. Okay, Google account, Gmail account, doesn't matter. Like you won't be able to, to run this thing if both you and the person you share with doesn't have a Google account. I would have loved to do this with Excel. Unfortunately, it didn't seem to be possible. Okay, thank you and happy campaigning.